What's up everyone, welcome back to Cloak to Grandmaster. In the last episode we did the unthinkable and we beat a 5.9k Protoss player in a game that took more than just 3 minutes. We didn't do an absolutely ridiculous proxy cheese, we did a cooler cheese that took about 10 minutes for us to win it. It was absolutely incredible. It brought us over 5.2k MMR, which is higher than I thought we would reach. Can we get 5.3k today? Let's find out. All right, the first game of the day is against Davdu, a Zerg player, an ancient sister. Now, I think in the last episode, we didn't get a Zerg player. Or has it been multiple episodes? I feel like I only remember playing against Protoss players and doing proxy widow mines and stuff like that. So, <laughs> not quite sure if I'm wrong in that regard. Now, guys, I already have my excuse ready for today. As you guys know, whenever I have an excuse, I like to put it out there. Just to, nah, just kidding. I put my monitor a little further away because it's supposed to be better for me. But now it feels kind of weird. It feels like I want to, <laughs> you know, move forward all the time and see what's up on the screen. Because it's going to take me a little while to get used to this because it does look a little different. Now, let's see. We're playing against the Zerg. And yeah, like I said, it's been... It's been strange. Like, most of the games, I, I really don't remember playing against a Zerg. Like, I just remember playing against Protoss players and, and doing, like, very fast rushes with Widow Mines and Banshees and stuff like that. I remember playing some games against Terran where I, you know, go for, like, Banshees first and then make a lot of ghosts. But I don't really remember how we played against Zerg. I do know that games against Zerg are usually way more macro-focused. So, I suppose that... Um, yeah, I think we're just going to go for the five command center setup. Also, I saw someone comment that I don't make stars anymore with my SCV, so there you go. I can't believe I changed, guys. My, my, my channel has been ruined. I, I haven't been making stars. No wonder, guys. No wonder you guys don't. No, just kidding. Actually, I was going to say no wonder I don't get views anymore, but the views are perfectly fine, so I have nothing to complain about. But here you go, guys. Actually, I, I really didn't recognize, or I didn't even realize that I wasn't making the star anymore until I read that comment. I'm not quite sure if I was getting tricked or maybe you know, my mind has been played by that guy maybe i do make a star every game but the guy just didn't see it and now i've been mind gamed for eternity but anyway <laughs> we're back to making stars gonna make a star with everything now guys here we go gotta make them stars you know okay so the first step against zerg for me well, first of all, the 5cc setup is going to be the base plan. Besides that, I do want to go for two starport Banshee because that's going to give me a lot of pressure. I mean, obviously, we do have to scout the Zerg, right? Like, if, if I get Rochalin or something, then the rest of the plan already goes out of the window. But I'm going to go for a double starport Banshee first. And then we're going to end up... This is a slightly late hamster, by the way. We're going to end up playing, uh, you know, mass goes with a lot of nukes. That's the plan, basically. My, my, my opponent's built... Did I scout early? Perhaps on accident? I'm not quite sure. I feel like the, the entire build looks normal, but the hatchery was slightly late. And it's even a big map. So I, I, I want to say that I definitely scouted early to ac uh, on accident, but if a bunch of links walk into my base now, then I guess we'll know the answer. It doesn't seem like it's going to be the case, though. Let's see how many of these Zerglings we can kill. One should die instantly. That's actually quite nice. I feel like sometimes Zerg players, and understandably so, they get a bit lazy of micro against the Reaper. They lose a couple Zerglings really early. And that's going to make it way easier to jump around later on because they won't have the Zerglings to block the, block the Reaper jump off spot, for example. And there we go. The Queen is a little late. Can I escape her? Okay, dude, for a second I was afraid that the second Queen was already up there on the ramp and it would have sniped my Reaper, but it looks like we're fine. Um, what am I going to do with these? I guess I'll make a couple marines just to be safe. Maybe I can hunt an overlord too. I do want a third gas. And then with this one, I'm going to make another star port. That's the plan. As you guys know, it is always a little awkward to, you know, play without helis against Zerg. Because helis are what keeps me safe, I guess. I, I could actually make a bunker here. Maybe I could play this slightly different than you would play in normal TVZ. So normal TVZ, you wall off here. You get a command center with a couple depots. But I could also not wall that off and get a bunker a little bit further back. I guess I'm going to make one Widow Mine as well. I do definitely need to make a bunker now because Link Speed is going to finish at about four minutes. There we go. I'll make it right there. Get a Tech Lab on that and then we'll switch this one over. I I don't think I want to expose the barracks yet. Like, I'm going to put the barracks in the wall because that's just very efficient. I mean, I'm not going to use the barracks for a while, right? I want to use it when I have Ghost, but besides that, I'm not going to be using it for a while. But if I put it in the wall, it's it's very suspicious. Like, my opponent's going to be like, wait, what are you doing exactly? And then, uh, you know, they might counter mech from the get-go. I'm not, To be honest, I'm not sure if countering mech is the right way to go. You really have to counter me. <laughs> More than you have to counter mech in particular, right? Because <laughs> my uh, playstyle is so weird. Okay, so he's going to see that it's Cloak Banshee. He's not going to see the second starport with that Overlord, though. So that is quite nice. I oh, oh, no. I thought I was barely going to be able to scout the gases. But I did see a couple drones being built. Um, which means that it's very unlikely that we're being all in. 
Now, let's see. Do I put the barracks there already? No, I did misplace these depots, so I'm not going to be able to wall off yet. But that's okay. There's actually one trick that I can give beginners with the command center. It's, al it's always a little weird. In, in StarCraft 1, it was even weirder. I used to play StarCraft 1 a uh, decent amount when I was a kid. Like, the edges of the building sometimes didn't wall at all, and you had to know that, like... I don't remember which one it is exactly, so don't get angry, but, like, the left side of the forge didn't wall, and the right side of the gateway didn't wall. But here, in StarCraft, only the real edge of the command center doesn't wall. So, yeah, you had, like, this, for example, is not a wall. You have to build a depot a little bit deeper uh, next to the command center. So, if you ever wondering why mass links did manage to run into your base anyway that's probably why uh, you're welcome now i would like to start a ghost academy but i think i don't have to yet the, the biggest challenge we face so far um early on at least in games and against zerg are mutilis i believe like those early mutilis really are tough to deal with because you know, I'm not going to have that many ghosts up. I'm just going to have to pray that they fly into the Widow Mines. But my opponent... I mean, I didn't see any sign that he was going for a particularly fast lair. So I guess I also shouldn't be playing afraid. Now, here we go. Four cloaked banshees. Uh, we did it. I think they barely don't two-shot queens, right? No, because I think it's... I'm, oh, the Widow Mine. Okay, not bad. I, I think it was nine banshees to one shot a queen. So four shouldn't... Uh, uh, two shot it of course i'm gonna make an engineering bay then i'm gonna fly it over if i could snipe some queens that'll be awesome i'm gonna start a ghost academy now let's see okay let's see oh wait it was actually a two shot huh so i guess it's eight eight uh, banshees to one shot a queen or maybe it was seven and i was just wrong also very possible now this is the moment where i need to be very scared i need to maybe scan let's see i'm gonna scan the main don't find anything there oh that's another queen there we go. Okay, it's another queen one shot. I mean, very nice. I'm not going to make too many more um, banshees because at some point they're going to lose value. Just like against Vipers in the late game, of course. Okay, he just, that was a really fast reaction, wasn't it? Like, he had, huh? He had two spores there already. That's actually pretty crazy foresight that instead of just defending, uh, you know, whatever the base was that I was attacking, in this case, his third base, he instantly went ahead to the other bases to make double spore. I, I'm actually impressed by that. That's 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 good clarity. That's very good clarity. Okay, so I'm going to start getting turrets. I'm going to scan this as well. And indeed, there is the spire. So now I need to make sure I get my full setup going already. The 5cc setup. I mean, I can just target this spore as long as queens are nearby. I like how I automatically cloak these banshees like it was going to have a difference out of it. Queens were too close already. That's painful. So I'm going to have seven banshees. And uh, now I'm actually going to fly these starpers away. And I'm going to make barracks there because I need to get ghost up ASAP. And I get a couple more turrets in the main as well. I need a couple turrets here too. Yeah, this is going to be a tight one. I'm not quite sure if we're going to be able to get away with this one. Yeah, the good spore coverage is really annoying. Like, <laughs> I really thought I was going to get a little more damage with these. But it's been a tough challenge so far gonna make another turret over here how many ghosts or how many barracks am i gonna have four at the start i do think yeah i missed hotkey over my command centers i could feel that i tapped the wrong hotkey there okay let's see he has the queens in position i mean at this point i'm more distracting him with the banshees than anything else because i just want to make sure i get enough ghost up like really i i don't expect these banshees to do anything i just want to make sure i actually have ghosts i'm gonna make more turrets here i don't have as many scvs as i would have liked i think i maybe didn't do the best job of producing scvs throughout all this time let's send a couple more over here I need do i have an armory already i don't think so right now i need to get an armory there and then at some point i'm just gonna start with the mass nukes probably three nukes at once is where i'm gonna start my economy does look pretty healthy right now let's see corruptors but why no way. He went for Corruptors instead of Mutilis? They're so slow. Like, M Mutas can actually keep up with Speed Banshees, by the way. Like, Mutas are freaking fast, but instead he went for... That's a very interesting choice. Okay, because Corruptors also are not really... I, I guess if he... Okay, if he thinks I'm playing... No, it, it does make sense if he thinks I'm playing Mech. Because I guess Mutas against Mech, you know, if I'm going to make Thors... Nah, I, I think that's probably what it is. I think he just kind of hasn't scouted again after seeing that I was going for a bunch of Banshees. He's just assuming I'm playing Mech, most likely. Uh, I like how I'm still diving through, trying to get damage like an absolute psychopath. He is upgrading on the Spire, so he's getting more and more upgrades for these. I really don't think I'm going to be getting any more banshees so i can probably forget about the starports for now the only thing i need to make sure of is that my entire base is covered against the uh spray ability of the corruptor right and a hotkey d so i can go for a nice triple nuke is there anything i can uh, should i cancel these widow mines or not they, they, i feel like this is a way different game normally i have to focus on surviving 100 percent right but here 
with the corruptors instead of mutas it doesn't really feel like we're gonna be attacked by you know like a big muta flock with bailings i guess it could be you know a, a huge amount of bailings without a big muta flock okay here we go so it is actually gonna be an attack here i want to get my widow mines in place oh these, these are gonna do an insane job these banshees let's see can i get enough bailings i think i can Let's see, I'm going to try snipe these. I think I got enough of the Bane Links. And now I'm going to get the Corruptors as well. Look at this. Oh my god, the Corruptors are going to fall. He's not even going to get the Planetary, guys. He's not going to get on top of the Ghost. And we have annihilated this attack. Now, I have learned this from the past, guys. So let, let, let me correct us here. Okay, let me correct our collective mentality. This has happened very often before. Where we get an insane trade. And then it feels like we're just going to win. But the truth is, my supply with this challenge is always so low that we're still pretty far away from winning. Like, we're still definitely very far behind. His supply should still be uh, pretty close to max. Uh, so, yeah, let, let's let's take it easy. I, I started... I instantly felt that rush of confidence when we killed this entire army there. But I, I need to be realistic here. And I know from the past that this is probably still going to be very challenging. I, I did cancel his fifth base. That is actually pretty huge. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't get cloak for my ghost yet. Okay, I was about to send out, but I, I feel like I've done that before. I get the Ghost Academy so late that I just kind of assume that I already have a uh, cloak. In reality, I don't. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep two normal command centers here just to replace planetaries that he blows up. I think this is a good strategy because very often, um, you know, he rushes in to kill the planetary. And even though I kill his entire army, I don't have a replacement. And one fourth of my economy can just be gone. And that's not something I want. Wait, does he... Okay, he does have an upgrade. Okay, I, I thought he—I thought you needed plus one to prevent it, the the two shot, but I guess it's just uh, plus two armor. Okay, let's see. So he's gonna attack over here. Let's see if I can get a fat hit. Can I repair that? Maybe? Probably barely not, right? No, barely not. Okay, and here I'm gonna be able to use the replacement. Like he killed a lot of SUVs, but it's not necessarily worth it, right, to do that. Because um, I mean, how, how how much gas is that that he just lost? I feel like it's an insane amount of gas that you have to use for that, right? So don't think I can be too sad about it. Gonna get a new planetary instantly. But this is exactly why I need so many command centers. Now, I am really excited for my first triple nuke, though. Uh, sadly, I, I, you know, I, I didn't get cloak instantly, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. I'm gonna be able to send these out in just a couple seconds. If I get five bases, I'm also gonna go up to more ghost academies, I think. Wait, is he gonna try again? No, he's not gonna try again. Okay. He just assumes I don't have a planetary, so, uh, yeah, that makes sense. There we go. Now he sees these, and now I have cloak, and I'm gonna send these out. I'm gonna try to go to the middle of all of it. I hope he doesn't, yeah, he does, he's barely not gonna see it with, uh, with those links. That'd be very, very annoying. Okay, here he goes. He's gonna try and now i'm just gonna okay he's not paying attention clearly so i'm just gonna go for it i'm gonna send all these ghosts to defend i'm gonna nuke all of these bases at once that base is gonna die and i'll just replace it instantly uh, with a couple more now this base i don't think oh he's actually gonna go back no he, he sent it back in time i'm looking three bases at once oh i just i was attacking my own command center in accident this one is gonna pop off i think both of these are gonna pop this one's gonna do a lot of damage i think there we go a full double full hit 28 kills and 28 kills 56 kills with two nukes guys that is absolutely freaking brutal okay that is just awesome 56 kills on two nukes i didn't expect that it was gonna be uh that good but so far i mean our strategy has been looking very good okay so he sees this one maybe i can hide this one over here so he's not gonna see it like just out of range of spore crawler range actually i think i think the spore crawler might even see that i know the spore crawler detection range is uh, pretty massive actually see so, yeah, i'm just gonna keep making normal command centers i can't even take that yet okay and then i'm gonna nuke it there we go i think we're barely gonna be on time to get something good here he's not gonna be attacking me yet let's remake a sensor tower over there and then i'll send out the next boys and how many SUVs do i have right now 77 it is a really funny game where you're just oh did 39 kills on the ghost they got a hit again oh my goodness this guy is not having a good time guys i can tell you this much the nukes are absolutely popping up against this guy right now i don't have my fifth base yet i'm kind of scared to take it because i know he's gonna have a lot of bailings but maybe i should just uh go for it instantly okay there we go we killed the spore crawler 42 kills on that ghost guys now he's gonna lose this he's still making a lot of units but i don't see them okay that's where um the fungal lands so now we at least know that there's something there i wonder if i can hide this one behind his base like here like maybe he's not gonna see it there we go and then oh no why are these on the low ground oh my goodness that's an accident these are not supposed to be on the low ground i guess i clicked here instead of here oh my goodness that was terrifying here we go 
probably go for my 3-3 upgrades. I'm going to cancel one to Another full hit! 17 kills! Oh my goodness, this guy is not good against the nukes, guys. This is... I, I feel like we've killed 100 units with just a couple of nukes. Okay, this one I'll just lift off. I don't think there's any, uh, you know, point in trying to keep that alive. Maybe at the same point, at the same time, I can try to go for the one in the top. Okay, so he's going to try to kill these. He's not going to kill this planetary, I think. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's, that's a prediction and a half. Okay, that, that, is, that is a prediction, guys. Okay, so we hit this one again. I'm just going to nuke again. I'm going to keep nuking, I guess. I mean, if he's not going to, you know, kill that ghost, I guess I'll just keep going with the nukes over and over. I do need to make sure I have detection everywhere. I guess that base is going to die now, which is great. There we go. Oh my goodness. These guys have done so much individual work. It, it's actually pretty absurd. Like, this shouldn't be allowed to do that much damage with a single ghost. Okay, I guess now I'll just nuke this again. Is he going to try to attack me here once more? Probably at some point. Now, my SCP count is quite low. Okay, so he is going to kill that one finally. He's, he's going for the Ultralisk approach. Okay, I'm going to get a couple more Widow Mines up here. Let's see. I'm going to send this one over here and then nuke that as well. I, I do need to be careful now. Like, if I get fungled, we're definitely still going to be in trouble if we don't get fungled we are probably fine see so yeah, i guess i'll just spread these widow mines a little bit oh my god come on you can't get hit by every single nuke oh my god 30 kills on that ghost how many things have we killed with nukes at this point i feel like this game does show very clearly how hard this challenge is right because it hasn't even felt like i'm you know in a completely winning spot i mean we've, i think we're coming close to killing 200 units with just a couple of nukes really like it's actually crazy okay so now he's gonna go for it i'm gonna go for the surround let's see how many we can get Okay, there we go. The splits are pretty good. Oh, the Widow Mines 2 are popping off. Now the ghosts are going to come in. Oh my god, these snipes are going to go massive. Yeah, exactly. Very good. And I have a replacement command center. That is perfect. Okay, there we go. So we did a crazy amount of damage and we have a replacement. And now I'm going to send these uh, ghosts out again to do some more damage. The, the Widow Mine, by the way, it actually killed five Bailings. Those Bailings were about to connect and the Widow Mine killed them off. You guys didn't see that. That was absolutely fantastic. Now, I think an Overseer might be up here. That's why... Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm sending two ghosts to the other side. Because I felt like an Overseer is probably going to be there. Maybe I can snipe it, actually. Do you think I can get away with snipe? Oh, no. He went another way. Okay, here we go. Then I'm going to go for a bunch of nukes. Is he going to see this one? Maybe not, actually. Here, oh, my God. That would be so disgusting if I got a nuke off from there. And let's start some more of these. Triple nuke. It seems like he wants to go for another attack here. Let's see. He's going to go... Oh, that Widowmine's going to pop off. There we go. 13 kills on that Widowmine. That is massive. He's going to go straight to the middle now. Maybe I can get some uh, snipes on those ultras. That'd be nice. Now those are going to... Wait. Guys, the Overseer died to the turret. I'm not sure if he realizes, but the Overseer died to the turret. Oh, no. He's going to lose every single ultra. There we go. He brought a couple more overseers, but they're just too late. That hatchery died. These nukes probably both popped off. Uh, knowing my opponent here, not trying to be mean, but it is kind of a pattern at this point. I'm going to EMP the queens, because why the hell not? There we go. And now I'm going to go across the map. I have a replacement planetary. I don't think my opponent is... This is pretty risky, by the way, usually. I mean, we should definitely have enough ghosts here, but uh, I don't think you really want to be going out on creep uh, with this strategy, usually. There we go. I'm gonna snipe all of the queens here and I'm actually just gonna drop a nuke there just in case let's see I'm not sure. is there a base here okay so he was taking the base there I really wonder how much stuff we have killed with nukes this game oh okay that was uh, pretty scary for a second there I have the planetary up there as well are these ghosts gonna kill anything probably not but it is this game is freaking beautiful like it really was the nuke is gonna finish the hatchery don't really need to use it anymore the spines are gonna die too even the corruptors are gonna take a little damage I'm, I'm not quite sure oh he's gonna go for brute lords probably that is kind of a crazy strategy when I already have this many ghosts to still try and go for brute lords he has lost the zerglings on the left side I'm gonna try to see if he has the top left base at this point it's actually a base I haven't checked enough, to be fair. I could have done a better job of that. He doesn't have it, though, so that's nice. I, I just cloaked my Widow Mine, and then it still died to, like, my... I, I cloaked my Ghost, and it still died to my own Widow Mine. That's a, a little unfortunate. I guess I could make a couple turrets around here, so he can't destroy that with uh, the Caustic Spray. But, I mean, at this point, I think we have too much money. He does have the bottom right base as well. That is... Uh, I feel like he's done a really good job of expanding and recovering from all the nuke losses. But then, at the same time, he really just has lost way too many to the nukes over and over and over. Gonna go to the bottom here. What does he have? Okay, so he does have a couple Brute Lords. I, I'm, I don't want to go for it. Uh, and I, I mostly don't. Because I don't know if there's any investors, right? Oh, that's a really good move with the Corruptors, by the way. I don't know if there's any investors. Oh, no, this could be massive. Guys, this could be absolutely massive. He's barely gonna... He's... No! 
He's in range. Oh, he's gonna. No, that was so close. There we go. Did we get all of them? Oh, we did get all of them. There we go. I EP'd all the infestors, and now we can go for it. And GG has been called. 40 goals left against two Brutalists, five Corruptors, and five infestors. And oh my goodness. 146 worker skill. And that's pretty much only nukes. I mean, at the end, I want to guess we killed like 30 or so uh, with the actual ghost auto attacks. But I think 100 plus skills of those are purely the nukes. And the nukes really carried super hard this game. Like, really, really hard. You it's lost efficiently 22k against 37k I'm really proud of mostly the strategy in this game. I felt like the strategy was really good. We always had a command center to replace, even though we killed our command centers. In the past, that was a really big issue. We ran out of economy, but here we made it happen. And that was just the warm-up game. Let's go for game number two. All right, game two against TKL, a Protoss player. Okay, hmm. Now, this is very likely to be a drastically different game from the last one, just because, you know, Protoss and Zerg is such a different matchup for Club 2 Grandmaster. Now, let's see. What are we going to hit TKL with? like a fun um i'm kind of tempted to go for like the banshee strategy again to be honest like the banshee strategy that we beat the high mmr protoss player with was freaking awesome i also think that if i do that i i will die against the stargate and i don't really want to you know tkl here i think it was 4.5k mmr so that's a little lower than me i don't really want to risk losing that much mmr just to go for the banshees but at the same time you know ri risk risk it for the boys risk it for science i mean <laughs> <laughs> It'd be pretty cool to find out. I mean, I really don't think you can beat Stargate with that. I, at some point, I played a game. I think it was... Um, yeah, it was in that other video. Yeah, okay, beat Grandmaster with just a single unit type. I played Banshees, and my opponent played Blink, and then eventually he made Phoenixes, right? And then there was this point where I had like 12 Banshees or something, he had three Phoenixes, and they all died so fast. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, even that many Banshees die super fast to Phoenixes. It might be one of the hardest hard counters in the game, Phoenix against Banshee. So, not quite sure if I want to go for that. Now, I'm definitely going to start with Widow Mines. I mean, I can always switch it up. I, I would like to have a more ghost-focused strategy against Protoss as well, but I just think it's not quite as good. Um... I, I guess I guess in the late game ghosts are definitely good. Like if I go banshees, I mean you can always get an EMP off against the Protoss army, and it's gonna be nice, right? But early on, uh, I'm not quite sure. Wait, I could wall him in. Actually, that could be quite nice, maybe. Um, yeah, I guess I will. I mean, it's confusing enough what I'm doing anyway. So even if he gets the intel, I don't think I really have to worry about it. I'm, I'm following him with my SUV, so he can't recall immediately. I guess at so at some point he, he could recall now if he wanted to. Let's see, is he gonna do it? Maybe. Not quite yet. I'm going to fly it away. It looks like it's going to be... No? Not a recall? It looked like he was going to hide in the corner so he could go for a recall, but I guess not. There we go. Going to hit my marine once. It's actually a good move, by the way. If you if you didn't know that, you should always... If you have to, if your probe is going to die anyway, always hit the marine once because then it dies in two shots to an adept instead of three. I mean, it's, it's actually quite a big deal. I mean, you can calculate the percentage. Like, it's a, it's a pretty big difference. So, uh, if you can do that, why, why the hell not? I'm going to go for two Widow Mines first, and then I might go for Banshees after. I don't think I'm playing pretty YOLO by not even, you know, scouting at all. I mean, I'm scouting around my base for a proxy now, but I have no idea if we're getting, like, two Gator or something, which for some reason has been met meta recently. I always play against these two Gates. I do need to make sure I wall this off. I'm going to fly this back so I can make an add-on for my Starport later on. Um, now, how do I want to do this exactly? Like, I'm definitely going to go for a Starport, right? But I think I need to scout with my Widow Mines to know if I can do something more than that. Like, if I want to go for two Starport, I just have to confirm that it's only going to be... Uh, or, that, yeah, just not Stargate, basically, right? It's the only thing I really care about at this point. Now, I'm going to burrow these Widow Mines a little far apart, just so they cover more ground against the Adepts. It's always a little scary to play against Adepts with Widow Mines. I like how this Marine is going absolutely on a mission. I mean, it's my only thing I have to scout right now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we killed an Adept, I think. At least seemed like an adept to me could have been something else but i think it was an adept okay so i'm gonna make two more widow mines and then as soon as i confirm that it's not a stargate that's when i will go for a second starport very confusing if you keep talking about stargates and starports for some reason it's just like my, my brain is kind of exploding all right let's see what, what we have over here it is not a wall off okay he does have a battery that's probably just to guess a double gas there's another gateway being built like i'm oh my goodness my marine He's doing it. Let's go. My Marine is going all the way. It is a Stargate. No way. The Marine actually figured it out. Now, I do need to be careful, by the way, for an Oracle. I kind of got carried away there for a second. Okay, here we go. Let's see. He could have gone for Phoenixes, too. I guess I'll just... Wait, is that actually gonna... I feel like I'm slowly killing the pylon. This is very funny. 
<laughs> oh my god, he has to run for the win of mine. Look at this. He's me. Oh, I'm chasing him all around. This is very fun. Look at this. He's not even mining right now. This is great. Oh no. Are you serious? No, you have to run away from that too. There we go. That shot something. I'm going to unburrow this. A little bit of micro here, guys. No big deal. Maybe I can shoot the adept. Oh, I think I got the adept. Yeah, I did. There we go. I'm going to get that adept too. Not quite. Let me unburrow that quickly. Yo, that marine, by the way. Is that marine not just absolutely popping off? The marine is going to kill the pilot. What? The pilot is going to die to the marine. No way. Okay, that is hilarious. <laughs> they actually killed the pilot. Billy the Marine, guys. Billy the Marine is absolutely popping over. That is very funny. Look, look at him go. No, no, not Billy. Oh, rip for Billy, guys. He was doing so well. I can't believe he killed a whole pylon. Okay, he's going to go for the cloak. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just repair that. That means I can actually go for it. Okay, so that is going to be repaired. And then uh, it is going to finish just in time. Here we go. I guess I'll burrow this. I think I might get one shot off with these. Here we go. I mean, oh, if he's not paying attention, he's going to lose these stalkers too. Yeah, these stalkers are both going to die. The mineral line is surrounded, guys, by wind of mines. Here we go. All those pros are going to die too, I think. Oh, this is so brutal. There we go. And we do have cloak on these. The oracles are on the other side of the map. He does have the one battery, unfortunately. That battery is going to be doing a lot of work here. Kind of wish I had my second Banshee here already. I rushed it across. Oracle's obviously fantastic detection. I mean, so far, I think I'm doing amazing here. I don't think he has Blink. He could always go for... Uh, what's it called? He could always go for a Phoenix just to kill this at some point. Wait, if he's... Oh, that almost shot again, guys. If he's not paying attention. I mean, I'm just saying, guys. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we're going to get a full shot, I think. Oh, good micro by him. Well done. Okay, let's see. I don't have that many units, I have to say. I, I, I kind of wish I had a couple more. Should I get Cloak for this or a Nuke? I think a Oh, no, I sent it directly. Oh, that is actually an accident. That sucks. But maybe I can... I mean, if he's not paying attention, I'll get a couple more probes, I guess. Here we go. I wonder if he thought it was the same one. Maybe that actually worked because he thought it was the same Banshee. <laughs> so now I'm going to get like four more probes. There we go. One more. Hey, I actually got one more. Let's go. Okay, now where do I burrow these Widow Mines so I can destroy his units flying across the map? That is what I need to know. I have zero Banshees alive. I'm going to make a couple more just because there might be like a really good surprise. Okay, I'm going to burrow them slightly apart. Something like this. And then now I have to say it's a little bit of a strange game right now. I guess I could go for Mass Ghost. Like he has the Stargates already. So Banshees are kind of... Oh, here we go. Yes, both. Oh my goodness. That is so brutal. I feel like these games today are just incredible. Like the games are absolutely brutal as well. I think... No, he had, he had a third Oracle, right? I'm pretty sure I saw a third Oracle. Yeah, I was going to say that's his entire detection. But I, I'm pretty convinced that he had a third Oracle as well. I do imagine he's mostly making... Uh, Phoenix is right now. I got three ghosts already. I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna cancel Banshee speed and I'm gonna switch over to going for mainly ghosts. Gonna fly two Banshees. Uh, what do I wanna do with these Widow Mines exactly? Probably just do another run by, to be honest. Like, I'll go for another run by. I'll make sure to cover all the entrances. That should be quite nice so I don't get surprised by anything in my main base. Oh, let me make that. I thought I built it already. Uh, something didn't work. I'm not quite sure what. Maybe it was the turret. Oh, I think one of the SCVs was stuck. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. All right, just try to scatter these widow mines everywhere. Is there a, are these? Yeah, okay, perfect. I was going to say, I need two, two more widow mines there. They actually had them ready. That's really nice. Yeah, I think this SCV is just stuck for eternity. Wait. Wait, I have, do I have plus one? Wait, what the hell happened? Where's my other eBay? Oh, there it is. I was, dude, I was so confused there for a second. I was like, wait. How, how can I not start my 1-1? One, one? I had a freaking utter eBay and I, I completely forgot about it. That happens to me a lot, by the way. Reminds me of that Zer game where I um, suddenly had four evolution chambers. That was quite funny, though, I have to say. Now, I do have Cloak. I think I want to get a couple more Ghost Academies and an Armory. And I'm going to make a Planetary here. Yeah, it's, it's a weird game, to be honest, because we did a lot of damage. But now we are stuck having to play pretty much pure Ghost against Protoss, which, I mean, we've been there before, guys. It's a tough one. I think I'm going to execute this SUV. Say goodbye to the SUV, guys. If you get stuck, you end exit on the wrong side of the building, it's, it's just your own fault. What can I say? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not usually that cruel. You guys know me, but sometimes you have to be... Uh, you know, you need to use appropriate measures, I should say. Now, it's time to drop some nukes. Let's see. I, what my plan was here is to just cover the ghost with the widow mines while I nuke kind of thing. Okay, let's see. I'm going to get one nuke out here. And I'm going to block it all. I mean, I can just kill the Observer instantly. Here we go. The Observer is going to die. There we go. And now the nuke is going to go off and he already has to run away. Guess I'm going to EMP that. There we go. 
EMPing the Nexus doesn't really do anything because it only takes uh, 100 shields. I get that question a lot. Why don't you just EMP it before the nuke lands? Guys, I know. I think in Brute War, it took all the shields. In StarCraft 2, it doesn't. It only takes like 100 or something. So I can EMP the Nexus a million times if I want to do some real damage to it. Okay. Oh, good micro beam, I have to say. Let's get another EMP off. I, I could probably run forward at this point. I think it's a little bit too scary, though. Yeah, I think I'm just going to run back here. Here we go. Going to get my plus uh, two attack as well. I, I do want to get some more nukes. I think I want to go for a triple nuke next because at this point he is aware of the nukes. I have a lot of Widow Mines that I kind of want to move forward a little bit. I mean, at this point, I do feel pretty safe. Like, I have a planetary up here. Like, I'm not quite sure if I need uh, the Widow Mines anymore and stuff. I could burrow a lot of Widow Mines here and just go for the natural. I kind of like this play. It's also very psycho, though. I have to admit. Oh, there we go. Oh, his blink already finished. Okay, that sucks. Where's the Observer? There we go. The Observer is gonna die. Wait, he doesn't have the texture, guys. Like, what is he gonna do here? Oh, he does have a turret. God, that turret actually th scared me so much there. <laughs> there we go. The Widow Mines are coming. He has... Oh, I'm actually... Oh, it was the Oracle. Wow, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, thank goodness for the Widow Mines. The Widow Mines doing a lot of work there but this is gonna be a very tough game despite all the damage because ghost against protoss just are not that great to be honest like this is a tough one here i'm gonna send these two ghosts around and i'm gonna send this ghost around as well yeah i don't have maybe i should try go for more banshees all of a sudden uh, kind of like a, a, a sneaky switch, I suppose. No, please come back here. Gonna make some turrets as well. He does have a Colossus too, which is really scary. But I do have a planetary here. So don't necessarily have to worry about that instantly. I mean, the, the planetary is not gonna die. That's the thing. Planetaries are really good against the kind of army that he has. I'm gonna drop a nuke over. No. Okay. Gonna drop a nuke over there. That's probably gonna make him retreat. He does have a cannon up in his... Uh, yeah, natural, like deep natural already. So that's quite annoying. He does see this one. Maybe it's a really good destroy. Oh my god, it's too late. It's too late. Here we go. Okay, that is really nice. Okay, now I, I might be able to get lucky here, guys. I'm going to get a double nuke going in both of his bases. And if he's not fast enough, they could both pop off. That's the plan. I'm going to a couple more command centers. I need so much more gas for this, by the way. It's crazy. Okay, does he see both nukes? He doesn't see either of them. Oh, no, guys. The double nuke is going to pop off. There we go. 25 kills on those. That is absolutely brutal. And now I'm going to kill. Uh, start killing his probe. This is going to force him back, which is in turn going to give me time uh, to make planetaries at every base, which means he can't attack me anymore. I don't have enough for an EMP, sadly. That would have been really nice, but I don't. going to go for another triple nuke, I think. Like, the, the, it's really funny. Like, even one planetary... Oh, that's actually misplaced. Even one planetary is more valuable in the fight than, I want to say, like, 15 ghosts or something. Like, the, the planetary actually does better against his army than, like, 15 ghosts with. Like, it, it's pretty insane, but it is true. Okay, so here we go with the boys. I wonder if he's going to start playing, like, hyper-defensive at some point and just... Uh, you know, not let me nuke anymore and max out. Like, it really is not a bad strategy uh, for the situation. Let's see what he has. Okay. So I think we're going to go for a nuke here first. Then I'm going to nuke that as well. Let's see, is he over here? He is over there. Oh, okay. Made another cannon there. That is pretty smart. Well done by him. I'm going to start making more and more nukes. I think it's also time for me to just go for the, the big banshee switch that I said I was going to do. Okay, that is barely not going to pop off, sadly. I, I wonder if I could hit him with the random nuke in the middle. You know, like, I'm, oh, guys, I'm actually excited. This, this is going to be a very, very tough game, like 100%, but uh, I wonder if I can hit him with, like, the big random nuke in the middle. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite plays. I can also just scare him over and over by, by nuking that. <laughs> see, see what he's going to do to react to it. Okay, so I do have a bunch of command centers now. I think it's going to be more valuable for me to get the... Uh, what are they called? Like, the upgrades for the planetary rather than get more upgrades for the ghost because the ghosts are not going to do well in the fight anyway like i have been saying so i think that would make more sense like i'm just going to get armor for the planetary and range for the turrets and stuff as well and i'm going to send this one up here because this is a really good nuke location and then this one to the right side yeah i don't think i should be spamming nukes anymore i think i need to start using my resources a little more efficiently and i don't even really have cloak energy for this but it's still going to be pretty good let's see when are the nukes going to finish like I could, I, I think I want to scan everywhere if I'm gonna nuke. I, I'm also maybe I should just be trying to take a little basis here. Like I'm, it's really hard against Protoss because Protoss can easily deny like all of them. But if he gets distracted, let's see. I'm just gonna try and scan everywhere. 
to just kind of confuse him. There we go. That is one. And then I'm going to nuke this as well. And I feel like I never really want to go past this uh, triple nuke stage. Like, I don't want to make more ghost academies or anything. Especially when I have the Banshees coming. Okay, so he's going to see that. That is going to land. It's not quite going to depower, but... The double nuke, it is going to work. There we go. And that does get destroyed very, very nicely. At this point, I do think he probably has a lot of observers hidden everywhere. So maybe it is time for me to make that one Raven as well. But for now, I'm going to focus on Banshees. I'm going to get Banshee speed. I just, at some point, I want to kill his observer and have like 10 Banshees before he's able to react and make a bunch of Phoenixes, right? That's the plan. Uh, I'm going to make this a planetary as well. I mean, I am getting a lot of planetaries up. I don't think he's going to be able to kill all of these. So that is quite nice. If he wants to trade against planetaries, I'm always going to be okay with that. This is definitely setting up to potentially be an absolutely inhumanly long game, by the way. I'm going to go for air attack as well. Look at the money, by the way. I can't believe the money is so low with this strategy. I guess there is just so much to spend on. Like, it's just, I don't know. I feel like I can never really uh, get enough resources to get whatever I want. There you go. Let's see. What am I going to do now? I kind of wouldn't mind nuking the same area again. Looks like he's... Oh, he's going for Tempest. That is a really, really massive play by him. Hmm, I'm kind of scared. I feel like maybe I should try to make something happen. Like, can I do anything against Skytos? The answer is probably not. Wait, is it... No, the same trick isn't going to work this time, unfortunately. He's just going to... Yeah, okay, I was going to say. Is he not going to lift that? I think he should. Okay, there we go. Now it's time for me to go. I mean, he's getting into Skytos, and I just know from experience that Skytos is just going to be unbeatable. I am going to go for a second factory with Drilling Claws. There we go. I, I had a feeling there were probably going to be a lot of observers hidden everywhere. What's his army like now? His army is good. But I might be able to get, like, a good fight with my Banshees, I think. Okay. Wait, is he not paying attention? Oh, my goodness, guys. That could be... Okay. He did pull back just in time. Imagine. Just imagine if that was actually happening. Okay. There we go. What's his army? His army is not huge, but he does have the Disruptors. That's the, that's the problem. Oh, let me go back there. Nice juke, of course. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to split and fight. I think it's my time. I think if I wait too long, there's not going to be a chance. I see one disruptor there, but I can't quite... Splitties? Oh, the splitties were quite good, actually, I have to say. There we go. Really good splits there. I'm really trying my best to fight, and the fight is going just well enough, but now he's in range of the battery, which means that now we do have to run away. There we go. I'm going to kill that. And that is going to make for... Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't really call it a good fight, but... It also cannot be much better than that, if you guys know what I mean, right? Like, how much better than that is it really going to get? Going to make sure to get Drilling Claws and get a lot of Widow Mines just everywhere. I do have 100 SCV, so I don't think I want to be building much more than that. Let's see, what is he going to have over here? I think I'll just nuke this base, and then I'll try to do something at the bottom. Going to make more and more nukes. Probably even more command centers, to be honest. Here we go. Mm. Oh, that actually sucks that he hit more cannons than I realized he would have, unfortunately. Let's see, is he coming with his entire army? He is coming with the entire army. So that means that maybe now I can finally get an opportunity to nuke that. And here we go. This, this is how bad Banshees are, by the way. Look at it. Banshees with speed, guys, against Phoenix is delicious, isn't it? Here we go. I mean, it's going to distract him for a while. I think now we're going to switch away from the Banshees because he did remake a bunch of Phoenixes. There we go. Oh, we actually got a decent amount of kills with that. That's very nice. 11 kills on those. Every single Banshee did die, but I do have a couple more. Okay, here I have extra SCVs. I knew I must have had some more that I hadn't uh, properly used to saturate, but here we go. I did find them. So that nuke is probably going to go off. I have a couple more Banshees. Uh, seven, I think I can probably use those to do something with. I don't really know if it's going to be that huge, but... Uh, wait, where's my... Okay, there's my extra Ghost Academies. There we go. I'm going to start getting nukes from those. I'll nuke this as well. And now I do wonder what I'm going to do about this. I'm going to make one Raven. Uh, did I make two on accident? Yeah, I did make two. I'm going to make one Raven. Um, just to try and detect observers. And then I'll just try to do as much damage wherever I can, basically. Okay, this is going to be a good distraction for me. I'm not sure where the phoenixes are, but... Oh, his army's over here. Let me just get those back. Oh, he has carriers now, too. What am I going to do against the carriers, guys? I, I don't know, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to nuke here. Maybe he doesn't see it. Who knows, guys? Here we go. Oh, here we go. That's always going to be nice. Is there another observer? I don't think so, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Couldn't quite get an EMP off there. There we go. Got a decent amount. Okay the nuke the nuke is still not gonna i'm gonna nuke the back maybe i suppose let's see what does he have here oh i don't have the 
Do I have enough? Yeah, I do have enough for EMP, but I don't have enough to fight, unfortunately. Oh, that is buried. Oh my god, dude. If that was like slightly better timed, that actually could have popped off so hard. Yeah, I, I need something way more. That's the thing. I need something so much more than what I'm currently getting, and that's the problem. I mean, I'm gonna kill this base. That's nice. That's definitely something. He has the Oracle, which is super annoying, by the way. Like, the Oracle actually makes things so much harder. This is sadly not going to kill anything. That would have been a super nice play. I mean, if I can get him to just not have that many bases, there's always going to be a shot, I think. I guess at this point, I might as well get the extra upgrades. Um, you know, for the Ghost and stuff. Okay, he's not here. That's nice. He's going to try and chase me, perhaps. I mean, okay, there's not that much there. Oh, let me cloak that. Okay, that was actually barely in time. Got a nice cloaking on that. Maybe now I can try fly by with these banshees that he hasn't uh, revelated, right? Like, that is one thing I can do. And I have a ghost here. The nukes are going to finish at some point. Let's try to get more and more planetaries. I also need to start spamming turrets like crazy in the midline, I think. Here we go. Okay, these are not going to be able to kill anything. Let me get some EMPs off. I guess I, I might always just try the EMP. Gonna nuke that right now. And then I'll also nuke this location. Then I'm gonna try to fly by and kill a bunch more workers. Okay, let's see. I think uh, nuking the middle would also be a very good play, to be honest. Like, I think I just need to keep nuking the middle over and over. Like, all the time. Here we go. I'm gonna drop a planetary next to it as well. I'm gonna... Okay, this, this looks like a very efficient trader, I have to say. Like, this has been quite good for us. Okay, let's see. He's still out here. Maybe I'll just nuke this again. He might not expect it from the left side. Let's see. Oh, he does see it with an observer. That's unfortunate. Okay, so that is going to die. The Nexus is going to die, that is. Let's see. Can I repair this into eternity? I can drop an anti-armor missile that maybe scares him away. There we go. Because it doesn't do that much, but it might scare him away a little bit more, right? That's the thing. Okay, let's see. Where am I going to go now? I feel like going to the... Okay, this, this is going to be a big play. I'm actually going to do a double nuke because this, this is something that I always hated. But one nuke doesn't kill carriers, by the way. Like, it actually doesn't. So that is uh, super, super annoying. Let's see. Is he going to attack here? I did get a good EMP off there. Uh, sadly, he's not going to be here in time. Oh, that would have been super nice. I guess I'll nuke here behind me. Let's see. Okay. Gonna kill that base and then I'll move on to the next one. Oh, no, he did find my base over here. That kind of sucks. Maybe I can start depowering his production a little bit, actually. I don't think that's that bad of an idea. Okay, I'm gonna do a double nuke over here. Then these are gonna kill the pylon. I think that would be nice. Okay, he does see them pretty much instantly. Yeah, the observer coverage is getting a little bit too much. Let's see what I can do here. Probably just kill a bunch of the stuff. Gotta run away with these SCVs. I mean, it's not really that important, to be honest, but uh, I, can, I guess I might as well run away. Okay, he's going to kill these with the phoenixes now. Those are all dead. I, I, I'm, I'm glad you guys could at least see, you know, how good uh, <laughs> those things are against Banshees. Like, God, it's insane. Okay, so I'm going to nuke over here. I think that should be a decent nuke. There we go. Is he going to recall the army? He is not going to recall the army. I'm going to do another nuke over here just in case. Okay, wait, this one. No, it's barely. God, it's just barely going to miss every time, huh? I guess it's just going to be like this. My army is also just running super dry right now. Okay, I'm going to kill that. That nuke is not... Oh, barely not going to land as well. Oh, there. We get the observers at least. No, barely not. That's unfortunate. We do have two Widow Mines though, guys. Those two Widow Mines, huh? They might do some damage. Okay, I need some more gas. Look at my supply right now. It's absolutely tragic. And it makes sense because I've just been like nuking nonstop. And I mean, I, I, I have to. There's no other way to possibly beat uh, the Skytel's army here. See, that nigga is probably not going to go off if I had to guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, it looks like it's in a... What the hell is that Nexus placement? Oh my goodness, that is really far off. <laughs> I mean, I've done it before as well, but that, that's pretty funny how far off that is. Holy cow. Okay, so I lost another base. Yeah, his army is just too massive now. Uh, I think our only hope, like there's no more outplaying to be done. Our only hope is just to get a really big double nuke. Like that's the only thing we can do, I think. Here, okay, I'm going to go for it. For the the oh, actually, I only have one nuke available, unfortunately. Trying to get more nukes up, but it's just it's pretty hard. Hey, that one's barely not gonna go off, I think. Yeah, it's barely not. See? Oh man, it's so close every time. Oh my goodness. Is it tough? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, thank goodness I didn't EMP all of my own ghost. That would have been quite unfortunate. Okay, oh almost got a tempest there. Let's see, I need to be uh, very smart about my movement here, guys. If my movement is a bit off... Okay, look. That, that's really nice, actually. There we go. I'm going to separate two of these. 
Um, actually, I think I'm just going to go into the main. Because I feel like there's almost no chance left here. I think I have to do the most YOLO of maneuvers. Oh, he sees it as well. Yeah, I think that is probably going to be it, guys. Maybe we should fight. Here we go. I'm going to try and fight. Let's see what I can do. Okay, we did, we did get a bunch of the ghosts already. Oh, he's going to get them just in time. Yeah. All right. Well, that is going to be the game most likely, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I'm going to try one more nuke. Just because why the hell not? I mean, his army is actually not massive, I have to admit. His army is really not that big. It's just that it's unkillable. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, that could be a lot of probes killed, actually. Those have drilling claws. There we go. That is a good amount of probes killed. Wait, I, why are these alive? Huh? Okay. Well, interesting, I suppose. Okay. Wait, he might not... Oh, no, he saw it. it oh, that sucked that they weren't, like, cloaked from the start. I'm actually going to try and sneak this one. You guys know me. Even if I think... You know, the game is pretty much over. I do never give up. So here we go. Okay, that is going to be quite nice. It's going to give me a little bit more wiggle room here. I wonder if I maybe killed the observers or something. And that's why um, and that's why those uh, ghosts survived in the main base. He wore one zealot. Does he even have upgrades? He has 2-1. Wait, is one zealot going to beat my ghost? Oh my goodness. Almost. Man, go ghosts are not that strong huh? in a whole fucking 1v1 combat. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got a widow mine here. Hey! <laughs> I mean, I do have a decent amount of ghosts still. Let's see, what do I do? I, I made these uh, these widow mines so I could rally them into the base on the left side. I'm going to try to take the base in the middle again as well. This really has turned onto quite a brawl. I mean, my opponent's army is clearly way better, but I do think he's pretty much out of money at this point as well. Okay, these are going to go over there. I'm going to drop one nuke. I still need a nuke on the army. Like, I still don't think there's a way for me to win this one without a big nuke on the army, basically. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have two ghosts over here. Maybe I can nuke behind him. Let's see. I'm not quite sure if he would see that one. Let's see. Okay, so he's going to go back to the middle, I think. No, that's the wrong... Why do I keep doing that? Okay, there we go. Oh, these widow mines are... Guys... Please. Oh, no. I think it's barely mistimed again. No. Come on. They're going to be so massive. I want to get my enormous nuke. That would be the... I, I would make, I'd make 100 shorts out of it if I hit this nuke. Promise, guys. I'm not going to. But if I do, I'll make 100 shorts out of it. That, that's that's a deal. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. The double nuke there. Then. Like, I, I, I need two nukes as well. I, I hate that part. But I do really need two nukes. Okay. Let's see. Is he going to go there? Come on. Come on, one time. No. Why doesn't he want to die? Okay, here we go. guess I'll just... Well, I, I don't really need to nuke that. I guess I can nuke this base now. How many more nukes do I have? I have a couple. Okay. I, well, actually, that base is pretty much denied enough. Yeah, I was thinking about nuking it, but that's probably uh, not super meaningful. This this could be a really good nuke because he has so many of his workers there. Like, so many. Let's see. How many kills does this get? Yeah, are his workers still there? Yes. 16 kills. Okay, massive. Okay, there we go. We're going to kill a lot of these. That is really good stuff. Let's see. Is it going to come back or is it a recall? I don't know. Let me EMP that. There we go. Okay, they get an EMP. That's nice. Okay. One more attempt at the double nuke there. Okay. I mean, that looks like a pretty good uh, nuke setup here. Let's see. Finally. No, not again. The stalkers are... Oh, oh, oh. Guys, guys, guys. Actually. Come on. No. <laughs> oh, no. Why? Oh, I probably killed that really fast. There we go. Why, guys? Come on. Just let me... Just let me smash. <laughs> no. That was so close. Oh, my goodness. That is just illegal that he got away with that, guys. That's That, sh that shouldn't be allowed. Okay, I guess I'll just... Oh, he saw that one instantly because I lost vision. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to run away to my safe base over here. Oh, that was the last one, guys. That was the last chance I had. Oh, my goodness. That was so freaking close. Listen, if he wasn't paying attention just a little bit more, he would have lost absolutely everything, too. Oh, my God. Can you guys imagine the glory in that? Jeez, let me try to get this one over here. This base is going to die now. I mean, at least I'm killing interceptors. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, in a game where he would really have no money, that'd be pretty huge. The thing is that he does have some money. Like, it's not like he's completely mined out because I've killed so much of his economy that... Oh, he's actually going to blink forward on that. It's kind of brave, actually, with those low HP stalkers. But I guess I don't really have enough. All right, I'll wait for one more nuke to land. Let's see, I'll nuke this one over here. This one's going to pop off. There we go. That's... Wait, where's that ghost even? I don't even... Did the ghost die? I'm blind. No, it did die. 
Okay, can we get one nuke off at least? I don't have an EMP. Oh, the nuke is finally gonna land. Oh, there we go. I mean, that's a pretty good nuke, to be honest. It's just not quite gonna be enough, sadly. Okay, I'm gonna drop one more nuke here. I mean, I'm gonna drop as many nukes as I have. It's not quite enough, but all right, there we go. GG, well played, it's called. And he has beaten us. 770 minerals left. How many probes? Yeah, 44 probes left. Okay, that's exactly what I said. He is kind of broke. As you can see, he has no bank at all. He has less research than me. But he does have a little bit of mining. Sometimes what you can do is you can bleed them completely dry. They'll have zero interceptors left. And then you can actually win the game by killing interceptors with third. But here we go. A 30-minute game. We had a fantastic start. How many workers killed? 191 workers killed. We had a fantastic start. But beating Protoss with this competition in the late game is always going to be very hard. And that's my bad, you know. That's why recently I have been going for more aggressive strategies. Trying to get in there with the Widow Mines and Banshees and winning fast. But I mean, I really enjoyed this game. This game was a beautiful game. One was beautiful. And this was a really fantastic episode i hope you guys really enjoyed it i'm not gonna play another one because i'm absolutely exhausted but i hope you guys really enjoyed it make sure to give the video a like if you did subscribe to the channel and to see you all for the next one adios